dear students as we are born humans we all age we all grow and we all some day die but it always feels bad when you realize that someone close to you your parents your near and dear ones are one day going to die and leave you alone today we have a poem about a poet and her mother who are very close she is very close to her mother and she is very afraid of losing her and she wants to keep that facade up that she will not lose her let's read the poem first it is by kamla das driving from my parents home to cochin last friday morning i saw my mother beside me doze open mouth her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting the merry children spilling out of their homes but after the airport's security check standing a few yards away i looked again at her worn pale as a late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache my childhood's fear but all said i was see all i said was see you soon amma and not and all i did was smile and smile and smile this poem my mother at 66 is written by kamla das now kamla das was an author whose pet name was madhavi kutti she was very famous as her pet by her pet name also she she belonged to kerala and she was most famous for her short stories in her later language malayalam her mother the lady we are going to speak about is in this poem also excelled in writing kamla das was a syndicated columnist she wrote for many newspapers she was shortlisted for the nobel prize of literature in 1984 and she also won the asian poetry award in 1998 she was a sensitive writer who wrote lyrics about co- complex human relationships very subtly before we read the poem we understand the poem i suggest that you should also read because i could not stop for death by emily dickinson this poem this is also about death and how the poet deals with old age and how life passes us by now this poem has themes of aging and loss of parents and nostalgia let's do the summary first the poet has visited her mother in cochin her hometown she does not live there she has just come for a visit and now she is going back and when going, going back to the cochin airport for driving uh, she, they are driving to their the airport and her mother is accompanying her now the mother while accompanying her on the drive falls asleep with her mouth open and suddenly when the poet looks at her she finds that her face is colorless ashen like that of a corpse like that of a dead body and she is suddenly gripped with a fear and a pain and some pain and a realization that now her mother is old as old as she really is and she may lose her to death any time now she thinks in her mind that she may not be even able to come back and visit the mother again but then to divert her mind she looks out to see to see some trees passing by and many children playing outside their homes spilling out of their homes and she is able to divert her mind but again when she is done the security check at the airport she looks at her mother to say bye to her and again she notices that she is pale she is probably nearing her death or there is a fear in the poet's mind that she may not come back again now she has a familiar childhood pain that she refers to here that childhood pain is probably because she did not live with her mother and there had been several incidents of short term separation from her mother and every time she had felt that she may not meet her again again to keep herself and her mother in good spirits she says bye cheerfully and keeps smiling till she loses sight of the mother this is to the smile is always to encourage the mother as well as herself now the devices used in this poem are similes two beautiful similes ashen like that of a corpse when we when a human body dies becomes a corpse it loses all its color her mother's face was ashen like that the color of ash gray colorless and then pale as a late winter's moon a winter's moon is very pale almost white 
that is what she is referring to as the color of her mother's face when she left her now the repetition smile and smile and smile is made to emphasize the fact that she is trying to hide her sorrow hide her pain and the realization that she might not meet her mother again there is a use of contrast to show aging and the difference between old and young the young trees and the children the young trees are sprinting by as they are running along the children are playing it's all active and the mother is sleeping dozing and has a colorless face the young trees are green children are playful but the mother is asleep and restful the structure of the poem it is in blank verse it is actually if you notice a single sentence punctuated by many commas it is a single thread of thought which is interspersed with observations of the real world the young trees the blank the merry children and all this this shows that the poet is very scared of losing her mother and she realizes that now her meetings may not be possible